Napier residents are facing hefty plumbing bills thanks to ongoing issues with sediment in their water supply. The city's water system has been in the spotlight, of course, this week after reservoir levels dropped to critically low levels on Monday, prompting authorities to call for residents to turn off their taps. Lots of coverage of that, of course, but parts of the city have also been experiencing sediment in their water, which some residents say has been ongoing for months. Charlie Drever reports on the situation in Tamatea. Water levels in the city of Napier have continued to improve over the last few days and there have been few reports of sediment in water. But just eight kilometres up the road in Tamatea, it's a very different story. Stephanie Day's had sediment in her water for the past six months. We started getting silt coming out of the cold water, um, only noticeable in winter I guess because we were running the bath and it would just kind of have this fine black silt in the bottom. Stephanie Day says not long after that, she had an affinity water system installed and that's when the trouble really started. One day the hot water just stopped coming out and so we called the plumber out and he said that it had all been blocked with this black silt. I rang the council, it was the weekend, and asked them if they would flush the lines, which they said they did, but the black stuff was still coming out like a month later. The system was flushed again, but she is now left with an expensive bill. It had ruined the shower mixer and so we've had to have that replaced and I talked to the plumber this morning and he said um, he'd never seen anything like it and we talked about getting a whole house water filter system installed. This is beyond a joke, looking at a bill around $2,000 just to have clean water into our house. Another long-term resident has also been having issues for months and is constantly cleaning out her washing machine filter and finding grit at the bottom of her teacups. I drink the tea and, I, oh my God, look at the bottom of the cup and I've drank that. And it's just off and on all the time, has been for months. I've had mine flushed twice and I've just, just given up. I don't think it's worth trying anymore. She says she's having issues with her toilet filling but doesn't see the point of getting a plumber until the sediment is gone. She says filling her bathtub to clean out the grit has become part of her daily routine. Darren Lee from Laser Plumbing says he's received a few calls from concerned residents and says the best way to reduce damage is to run the taps outside. It's still going to be water in the lines inside. You're not going to be pouring dirty water into your fixtures and fittings inside. And if there's any grit or anything that's caught, the hose tap washer is a lot, lot simpler and certainly a lot more economical than maybe changing a hose tap out or rewashing your hose tap. Local councillor Annette Brosnan says she was not aware of any complaints until recently. I hadn't had anyone contact me directly about that issue, so I sort of sought a, a bit of information from staff about what, if anything, was happening out there. And the information I've got is just that it's, you know, once chlorine was introduced, that same sort of sediment issue that a few places around the city are having. Annette Brosnan says anyone with concerns should contact the council's water quality team, who are available 24 hours a day. The council's infrastructure manager, John Kingsford, says the new bore installed over the winter could also be causing problems. We have been undertaking a lot of work over the winter period, which is obviously the much lower water demand, so we can afford to take bores on and offline or uh, undertake critical maintenance work on booster stations and so on and so forth. That sometimes does result in dirty water John Kingsford says the problem is being addressed with ongoing flushing of the system. He says despite water levels improving, restrictions may still be in place over summer. Mr Kingsford also...